Hello, welcome to week two of TCI 537. Uh, I want to say hi to Bronson, Lindsay, Cheryl, Kristen, Kathy, Megan, Krishana, Nikki, Suzette, Derek, and Callie, our wonderful students for this class. Uh, you probably can notice in the background here, if you look closely, that I'm broadcasting from lovely Olympia, Washington, and notice that I'm wearing sunglasses, which means sun has been peeking out here, here and there. Um, but as you can see, the clouds are pretty uh, forbidding. Who knows? It might rain again. Uh, it's been raining off and on, but when the sun comes out, you know how it is in the Northwest. You've got to you know, make the most of it. Anyway, for week two, what we're doing is delving into Google Sites as one tool in particular to help us collaborate. And uh, what I like to think about with Google Sites is that it allows us to post information, to collaboratively create a web presence, so web pages, website, what have you. And so I've created a little tutorial that's linked in the schedule. Um, also, there's an email that's coming out, or should have come out uh, already, that has links to the video introduction for Google Sites uh, conducted by me. And uh, you can take a look at that to see what to post for week two for resources uh, in your research. And what we're doing this week is really defining the issue. Last week, we talked about how the gaps in technology affect us on a personal level at our schools and our communities. Uh, we also introduced ourselves with the SIA project uh, in the discussion board. This week, we're delving deeper or expanding out, depending on how you want to look at it. But we're broadening the search to what are the bigger issues with the gaps in technology and education. And so we want to kind of throw our net out there in research. Let's use the librarian at CityU. The librarians there are amazing. Um, I have links to the resources, but also if you're into the, the um, Blackboard site, you'll notice on the left side on the tabs, you have a librarian tab. You also have uh, external resources, which the librarian has set up with other sources that might be relevant for your searches. But what we're really trying to do is, again, define the issue as best we can. What I want you to do this week is to post three sources to the Google site and on the uh, page two of the TCI 537 Google site. And again, the video tutorial I have linked uh, in the email I sent you. We'll have a, a link to that so you can just watch the video on how to do it. If you have any problems with the Google site piece, please email me. I'd be happy to uh, uh, help you out with that. If I see commonalities with problems, I will either create another video tutorial or something. But you have to let me know if it's not working. Um, so that's something you can do to help me with that. So this week, again, we're, we're searching to better define what the issue is uh, with the gap in technology, uh, simultaneously learning how to use Google Sites. And this is to uh, expand our process for finding solutions with the culminating piece of composing a paper that brings together a definition of the issue, uh, sources that people are using or resources people are using to uh, stem the tide of the problem with the gap, uh, with the digital divide and other related material. And when we're all done with this, we're going to have quite a bit of information, a great list of resources that we collaboratively have built together through the Google site that we can call upon so that when we go back to our schools and districts that we can be a resource, that we can be a change agent to help make things change, to better bridge uh, the gap between the haves and the have-nots. So I'm trying to think if I've missed anything here. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, one other thing. Uh, once you've done the Google Sites and you've added your at least three resources to that Google page, then I want you to go back to the discussion board. I have um, an item about using Google and using Google Sites as a resource. Uh, what do you think of it? Is, what do you see the possible applications in your school or school districts as a potential solution for some of the uh, digital gaps? So you can reflect on that and then Please reflect on two other people's posts, and you'll see that it'll be a common process each week as we do discussion board items. Lastly, uh, in the Google site, you'll notice that there's a schedule page, and the schedule for last week and for this week are posted there. And I will be posting week by week what the uh, items are for each week, but also, um, yeah, I guess the items that are there, the to-do lists, uh, the assessment pieces, like what's being measured for each week. And I broke it down by weeks because I thought that might be the easiest way to do it. It doesn't matter necessarily when you do all these things, as long as they get done before the end of the course. So, but I thought I'd make it bite-sized chunks. Hopefully you like that. And uh, I think that's it. If you have any questions, please email me and have a great week.